grapes. 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 Beautiful grapes. Beautiful, beautiful grapes. Grapes. Hello, people. Papa Whispers over today. Yes, we have Koala by my side. Yeah. And we have grapes from her family vineyard. Yeah, it's a garden. It's a garden. And I showed some graphics in the intro. And it's too big to record it. But we have the reason of what we picked. So she today she's going to tell about the history of this garden. I don't know how old the tree is. Uh, I think the tree is maybe 30 years old. Yeah. And we also have some old olive trees. They are maybe more than 100 years old. They are very big, thick. They are thick. Yeah. Yeah. And They're sweet. Yeah, sweet. The thick ones. The thick ones, the purple ones are sweet. Dark ones, best. Ik weet niet, deze is niet geprobeerd. Zo. Ja. Niet rijp. Oké. Alleen de dark ones. Ja. We accidentally plakt de unripe ones. Ja, we plakt de unripe ones. Look. Some are ripe, some are not. But it's positive we learned from something because we're, we live in a village in the Netherlands but we don't have grapes. So it's it's to be new and interesting for us to taste the fresh grapes. Because normally you, you if you buy it in the store you don't know how long it has been laying around. I've worked in a grocery store and you know guys, do you know guys how they treat food? put it on the ground that's it you know but over here you pick buckets from the trees and I call you that's most fresh what it is on earth it's nice so all families live over here the most yeah. most families yeah long time long time so what I said all family is a family village some live in the city. Yeah. So, uh, you know, in history she's Princess, I married the princess. 
<laughs> this is good. This is really good. Look, look how fresh. You get this in grocery store. Look. But what I said yesterday about it's not about money. So in history, they planted the tree. It's good for each generation to try this grape. So if they just plant a lot of fruit, vegetables, so the generation, generation after generation, can taste the fruits of the tree. This my theory is very good because you take care of the next generation. This history, good history. The history is grandparents planted the grape tree for the next generation. And the next generation took care of the grape tree so the next generation can take profit of the next grape tree. To me, this is history. Good history. Mm -hmm. Because people underestimate the nature and we should never underestimate the nature. Because if you count, how much do you pay for this, you know? And I think the grandparents has took care of the great fresh fruit. People don't realize it, you know. Yeah, and in the past they already also had some animals, like chickens, uh, goats, they, they meet the goats, they had some eggs on the chickens. So, a lot of going on was here, yeah. Mm. And the animals. And the cats, of course, and the dogs. Yeah, I grew up with the dog here. The dog. Yeah, the dog was called Maritza. It's a little terrier dog. And Maritza means like, I think, crumbles or something. Yeah, like crumbles. Crumbles. Grammos, Grammos. Grammos, right? Yeah. Grammos. It's a cute name for a dog. Grammos. Yes, sir. The mates to eat for him. So, how do your grandparents in Hong Kong also have a garden like this? Vegetables, some fruits? Oh, yeah. My grandparents also have their own piece of land so they have like a big garden but they also have a big house on their own ground i think a lot of asians their ancestors inherited a lot of piece of ground so they built house on the ground so mostly it's from the ancestors so they have a garden, a parking lot, and like this. A little bit similar. What? Similar. Similar thing. Similar. But I think what we have like in a foreign country, a lot of family live in the same village. So they will always, if they took care of the family, they they wouldn't travel so far because they need them didn't to travel so far because a lot of families live in the same village and a lot of families live in the same village because it's divided in districts so if you have kind of with a kind of surname you live if your name is Wong Wong lives here Chan lives there so this divided in districts for me it's complicated because in the Netherlands you can live everywhere depends how much you earn good is some are very sweet yes yeah. family history is very interesting but yeah it can be complicated it's complicated in in my experience family history they will not always tell you open about how some family members existed or how they 
like my grandma family history is like they will never confirm that she's the daughter from an other wife from my from my grand what is it? Granddad. granddad the so there is like a piece of history a taboo on what the chinese culture chinese culture is beautiful you know but family history they will not always, always be open or how some family members existed or how they yes how they yeah. how they born you know they will never say oh he, he came from another uh, neighbor <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know do you know what oh, i understand <laughs> it's actually not to be ashamed for i know why would i be ashamed for my grandmother because i am like from the next generation of my grandmother i tell you it's history history is history i mean i came from my grandmother i'm very proud of her. i mean she took care of like eight kids i think she is strong you know i mean who, who takes care of eight kids you should be strong right you you have the patience and you have to be have the knowledge uh, in this generation a lot of people have one two kids and they go get crazy because they take care of two kids my grandmother had eight kids so she came to the Netherlands. She came to the Netherlands, yes. And that's what says about our society, history. People with eight, nine kids, big, big families. As people in this society have one or two kids, they became soft. Not offense, but but this is for me history, because I'm very proud of my grandma. So beetje grijp. Soms zijn we goed hier. Het is wel goed hè. Dat weet ik sommige. That's all lekker. Dish in the hood. Fresh. I ate some grapes from the grocery store it tastes more similar like plastic do you know what i mean it's like organic doesn't have like a plastic shell around the grape organic ones is like mm, nice it doesn't have like the plastic around it nice Dit is gaat niet eten. So what we understand from history, take care of the family is a big responsibility. Take care of generation, generation. And as I always say, you plan always forward 10 years, 20 years, 100 years. And the other one, to take over this responsibility to take care of the next generation so listen to the wise word from this old man yes what are they going 
They call me uncle on the interweb. <laughs> so, on the internet. okay, listen to this old wise man. Take care of your family. Take care of the next generation because history teach us taking care of family is good. Yes. Yes. It's enough. It's enough. Enough. Um, I show you. Uh, it's not just because I want to throw it away. It's not good for you. It all right. You can get stomach pain, or you can. I don't know what you can get, but I will not guess it. I will not try to experience it. So this is for the compost. If you mean how to say it, it's like recycling for the nature. Grow the trees. Yes, that's it. Okay, we will uh, look for other things and fix. 